on the sump is uh, temporarily delayed because I'm missing a key part. I'm going to go over to the Aquatic Critter here in Nashville and see if they have it in stock. If they do, I can get things underway. So let's get over to Aquatic Critter. While we're there, we'll take a look at some of the fish. They always have some uh, interesting things in stock. So let's go on and head on over there. So I'm here at the Critter. Traffic wasn't too bad. But the part that's been giving me a problem is this right here. This is called a bulkhead. And this bulkhead is uh, what is called a slip bulkhead. It has no no thread on the no thread on the inside. It's it's designed to be glued glued to uh, to the part that actually would then connect it to the pump. Uh, right here, you would go ahead and attach an elbow or something that would, that gets you into some hard or soft plumbing. And I don't want to glue that because uh, then I have no choice really but to but to cut it if I ever want to remove it. So I just, I want this to be threaded. So I called ahead. They said they do have these in a thread. So let's go inside, uh, let's go inside the critter and see what they got and uh, take a peek at some fish too. Let's go. Got a new sign up. I like it. Really sharp. Now that things have warmed up, they've got their goldfish, uh, goldfish back out. This show Midas looks like he had quite a night. Smudge lipstick, red eyeliner, obviously hungover. <laughs> Actually, I think this is a male. Very good looking fish. Love the orange fins. Really a good size. Polar blue parrots. Remind me, remind me a little bit of those pandas. Snow white parrots. I wonder if these get as big as the orange and red parrots. Very cute. That's from Red Tiger Oscars, but I've seen some before here that had better markings. These seem a little bit plain by comparison. Still a good looking fish. I'd like to get one someday. Red Jewels. Similar markings to the uh, the Jack Dempsey, or even a green tear, just that beautiful electric spotting. You know, I had a little bit of a rough go with a uh, electric blue Jack Dempsey, but it doesn't mean I don't like them. They really are pretty fish. If you have the right circumstances to keep one, why not? I mean, they're very, very good looking. Orange Von Rio. I'd never seen this one before. Maybe they're a little exotic, but boy, the colors are sure pretty. And orangey, orangey red. Great price on these red-eyed tetras. I was tempted to pick up a few. I think they'd look great in the community tank. Silver tips. Great selection of tetras today. Of course, I'm not going to show you the whole shop. Look at these uh, giant danios. My goodness. You're going to see about 25% of their fresh water and probably none of their salt water. There's some beautiful salt water fish today, but just don't want to spend uh, two, two hours of your time here. What a beautiful front, huh? That's a good looking fish right there. Good size, but still pretty young. I was very impressed by this clown loach. Look at them. Great, clean, clean markings. Beautiful yellow and black. Nice orangey red on the fins. That's a good looking fish right there. I'd put them in a group of five or six. Here are the ever popular uh, Shelly's. A lot of folks love that fish. 
Stendenker Discus. It's supposed to be very high quality discus. Definitely on the pricey side. Sharing a tank with some beautiful rams. Those rams are really popping. Always love the coloration of rams. Got some angels here living with some uh, very young arowanas. Dragonfish. Those are like black veils. All right, good news. They had what I needed. Here's the bulkhead. And I was able to get an adapter that then screws into the bulkhead on the tank side. And then this is what is called lock line, which you can just direct. You can turn, of course I can't turn it now. We've got one hand available, but you can shape it and turn it like I just did there against the steering wheel. And then what I'll do in the tank is I'll, I'll run it close to the surface. That way, if there's ever a, um, a pump failure or I stop the pump to work on the tank, it breaks the siphon at the surface and so there's no uh, chance of a back siphon. So there you go. This is uh, threaded on the inside. If you can see that, it's threaded on the inside and that's going to uh, allow me to, to go ahead and just screw an elbow in there and then that'll run uh, then a, um, I'll probably get some type of an, ad an adapter that'll then hook it to hose and then then run um, run some hose, some braided hose down from from this piece down to the uh, to the return pumps. So uh, that was a success. I didn't buy any of those fish. I was tempted to pick up some of those little tetras that were on sale for the uh, community tank, but I didn't. So uh, that uh, took some discipline. But uh, again, I don't want to get into anything else. I just want to get this 300 gallon tank running. But it was sure nice to uh, window shop a little bit. So. Um, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to uh, check back on Saturday at 11 a.m. Central for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. And uh, we'll get into the progress of the 300 as well as everything else that's going on in the fish room. And uh, for those of you who'd like to support the channel, be sure to uh, join the Garage Gang and become a Patreon member. It's about three bucks a month or higher if you like. And uh, it really helps. Thank you, my friends. You are appreciated. See you again soon. Bye-bye.